Paris work trip to Brussels, London, and Paris. Here are some of my adventures. Okay, so it's now nighttime. <laughs> Today did not go as planned. I'm the last time I talked to you was 9 a.m. Austin's going to work this week, and I don't know what I'm gonna do this week. We'll see. I've got a couple ideas, but we have to see where the day takes us. Instead, we walked to get our train tickets because you know, we have a like can't get the train on Thursday to London anymore. Right? So now we're going to Amsterdam and then flying from Amsterdam to London. And Austin's boss is getting around now. It's like six, even though it's like eight outside. So I was like, well, they have this fancy dinner tonight. I will go out and do some sightseeing. <laughs> oh god. Very awkwardly standing in front of the royal palace right now, vlogging. There are so many cars. So I'm gonna hit up this, and then I think Monte's art is on the way as well. I'll see that at night. And then I'm gonna go by maybe the Man Campus. So hopefully we can cover all of the more important Brussels monuments tonight and then do what I think are more fun things tomorrow. <laughs> I'm walking down on the lower portion of Monte Zart. I think this is one of the most famous photos. If you Google Brussels, you'll see the overlook from up there at the top where we just were, looking down over these beautiful gardens towards a church, which I'm not really sure what it's called. But there is a cool art installation down here that I really want to check out. You couldn't really see it during the day when we were here earlier, but now it's, since it's a light installation and it's all lit up, you can see it really, really well. because you really see people just like young, teenagers, older couples really getting into it and like interacting with the public space. And I think that's what's so cool about like immersive art installations like that. Okay, next I had to stop and make a quick stop at the grocery store to get Austin some dried apricots. Um, I'm gonna try to see the man can piss. And I mean, I've heard it's kind of anticlimactic, but we'll see. And then what else do I have left? Oh, the Grand Palace, that's it. So, one of the things about the Mankin Piss is that they always dress it up, and I'm pretty sure that right there, I saw online that they have like a museum of all the different outfits he's been dressed in, and I'm pretty sure that's the museum right there. Like, how weird. <laughs> all right, there's a bunch of people with cameras, it must be up here. So this is definitely a very touristy place while very charming. Um, there are so many waffle shops around and they all have the actual mannequin fist as well. I'm going to head, I'm like resisting very much getting waffles. I'm gonna head towards the Grand Place. Be the last thing, last two things we see for the night and then I'm heading home. Wow, okay, this is much cooler than I expected. Look, you can see the Christmas tree behind me, and it's just this giant, giant square of these beautiful, decadent, like, buildings. I remember seeing this online because sometimes in the spring they decorate the entire plaza with this beautiful flower arrangement that looks like, like it's a giant Turkish rug, but it's made of flowers in this giant square. Like, this is stunning. This is really cool. Over here are a bunch of kind of like flat fronted houses, but they're super gilded and like decorated and ornate. Like they kind of remind me of Amsterdam. Like if it got dipped in gold and like hyper decorated. It is incredible. This is just absolutely stunning. I'm way more impressed than I thought I would be. Okay, I'm having a hard time resisting. I think I'm gonna stop and get a little waffle at this place. So it looks kind of cute. I mean, obviously it's touristy because it's only a block from the Grand Place, but they have like speculous cookies and cute little decorations in the window. Like I can't resist. Oh, so the place that looks so cute that I went into closes at 28 o'clock and it's currently 7.57. I realized that as I was walking in, I was like, oh, 
I can't go in here like when they're about to close. Or do I just go home? But I don't want to just go home because I'm like craving something sweet after smelling that forever. So I'm walking to Parliament to meet up with Austin. The second time I walked by it, it had even more people over here. Like, it's just insane. I don't see what the appeal is, but like a little statue peeing. Anyway, back through Montezart and Place Royale, and then over to Parliament. Okay, so I'm currently posted up in a designer window. I was walking to meet Austin at a restaurant and um, my cell phone died. <laughs> and for a moment I panicked, but then I remembered that I actually have a good sense of direction and I know how to get home. I just don't know how to get to the restaurant he's at. So I'm gonna call it a night and take the ship home. Spend the day walking along the famous comic strip route in Brussels, and I finally get that waffle I wanted. No fork included. See you next time. <laughs>